Hello, everybody, and welcome. Um, if you're watching this video, you probably are a member of the Incorrigible Party Discord server and are interested in figuring out how to use the RPG bot for playing D&D on our Discord server. But if not, if you've randomly stumbled across this video uh, and you're looking for a group of people who are also interested in playing D&D, uh, feel free to join our Discord server. I will put a link in the description, which should take you there. It's a great little community, uh, very friendly and welcoming folks with varying levels of experience from beginners all the way up to uh, multi-decade uh, veterans playing D&D and various other RPGs. So uh, we'd love to have you if you're interested. So this, uh, I'm not going to, I don't intend this to be an all-encompassing um, tutorial. It's just going to go over the basics of how to use this RPG bot here. And I think people, once they understand the basics, can figure out the rest on their own or else uh, feel free to ask and there's numerous people in our Discord server who'd be glad to help you out. Um, so this is the RPG bot here. You can see it in the members list. And we're going to go over some of the commands that I think are the foundation for using it. And from there, you can build on. Um, so to use this bot, the command prompt is RP exclamation mark by default. Uh, that can be adjusted, but we're not going to change that, I don't think. And then following that command prompt, you'll put in a command with no space before it. Um, let's start out with help rip. <laughs> Let's start it with help. There we go. So the way this bot works um, with many of the commands, it'll bring up a menu here with reaction uh, emojis down here. And you can click on one of these and it will take you to a new command. So for example, if you want to know more about how to use this bot for characters, you can click on this one here. And there you have some of the commands that you can use for characters. Um, I have already set up a character in this Discord server. So let's see, uh, let's use the character command, RP exclamation mark character with no space. And we will use his name. This should pull him up. There we are. So we see his name up here. We see a picture of him. This is just a generic uh, wizard picture from D&D 5e. We see three lines of description and some more things about him here. So he's a half-elf wizard who loves all things fire and blasty, yada, yada, yada. He's owned by me, Bladio 22. He has a prefix, which is Falsy. His alias is Derp. And we're not going to go into attributes, religion, guild, any of that stuff. So that's the character command. Um, you can use it for your own character. You can use it to pull up others' characters and, and see a little blurb about them like this. If you're interested to know more about the character commands, you can use the RP exclamation mark help command with character afterwards, the space there, and it will give you a help menu related to the character command. So here are a lot of commands. You can click forward and backward to view more. And we're going to go over some select commands from this list. That's going to be the majority of this video. Okay. So um, let's start with uh, deleting Falzern. And there Falzern has been deleted rip falls in. so let's let's recreate him so rp exclamation mark character create and then we will assign a name for him it's going to be the same name falls in. and now we've got this menu here so uh, type the number of the page you wish to jump to. So page one is description. So I type one. It says describe the character. So he is a half elf wizard who loves all things fire and blasty. He's an evocation wizard. So I hit enter. We have our first line of character description. We can carry on with multiple lines. So... Um, So 
So there we have three lines of description for Falzern. And if we hit this button for next, it will bring us to what option two was, which was a picture. And for this, I'm just gonna type in wizard doing a Google image search. Here's the D&D 5e picture of your generic wizard. And then you want to open the image in a new tab. That'll give you just a URL for the image. Control C, Control V, there's our image. Now we can go back to the main menu. So we just did description and picture. So if we want to do a prefix, we would hit three. If you'd like to provide a custom prefix for the character that you can use instead of the RP character assume command, specify one here, leave blank for no prefix. So we're gonna call, we're gonna use the prefix uh, falsy, press enter, there we are. Let's go back to the beginning. Next is template, um, we're gonna skip that. And number five is owner. So it's already selected me. I wouldn't tinker around with this. Um, you should really only be making characters for yourself. So we have hit all of the um, points here. So now we click the uh, check mark and it will submit our character. And we now have a character. So some of the next commands which you may want to use, character assume, so that's, this is the character, the command that you're going to want to use to speak as your character. So Falzern has been assumed. And now the bot will delete my text and spit it out as in character as Falzern. That's the goal of this bot, basically, is to have text show up with uh, in character. Uh, to stop this, um, if I were to speak more, it's going to continue to be as Falzern. So to unassume um, and stop speaking in Falzern's um, voice here, you're going to want to use the unassume command. So RP exclamation mark character unassume. I'm not sure why it spits it out here. I don't know if that's a broken part of the bot or if I'm doing it incorrectly, but that can easily enough be deleted when you're done speaking as your character. So an alternative to that line of command to speak as your character is simply to do this. I've set up Falzerin's prefix as Falsy. So if I type in Falsy and then some text afterwards, the bot will recognize that automatically assume the character Falzerin and spit out the text in Falzerin's voice. So that's quite nice. Um, and there's no need to unassume the character when you use that particular command. I think that's how I will be using it primarily. So a couple other commands, we went over the character delete. You can create multiple characters via the same way that I've already shown. And if you would like to set a particular character as your default character, you can do that. It's pretty simple, uh, RP character space default. Let's set Falzer into my default character. There you are. Um, you can also edit an existing character. Just going to bring up the initial character creator that we already um, used, and you can go through it and edit whichever thing you would like to do. It's pretty self explanatory. I'm also going to go over some additional commands that, as far as I'm aware, aren't in existence yet within the bot, but it sounds like they're going to be added in the near future. Those pertain to experience. So you can look at the experience that a given character has. Command for that is RP character space experience space character's name coming soon. So it would it would spit out um, that Falzern has zero experience right now. Another command would be RP character 
experience um, add and then you would put in an amount so 100 and then the character's name that you'd like to add that experience to it's not going to work um, it'll say coming soon um, there's also set and then you would put in an amount and the character you'd like to set their experience to so if they already have, I'm assuming if they already have experience, this will override their current amount of experience and set a new total. And there is also take, which would work like this. Take the amount of experience you'd like to remove from the character and the character's name that you'd like to target. Coming soon. So those are the majority of commands I think that folks will need to get up and running with this bot. Um, some of the commands will not be available to um, everyday users. You will need to have the role set as a bot admin. Um, so be aware that some commands might not work for you for that reason. It should say that um, if you're looking through the help and you see the command, it will say it underneath it designating that it requires the bot admin role. So I think that's all um, we're going to touch on today. I, I don't want to make this video any longer than is necessary. And I think we've achieved our goal of just going over the, the bare minimum basics that everyone needs to know to be able to get up and going with this bot. Um, like I said, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'll do my best to help. Um, or there are others in our Discord server that also are pretty adept at using this bot that I'm sure would be happy to help whenever they have a minute. Thank you very much for watching and happy adventuring.